Hey everybody, it's Steph with Killer Sites and Other Sites. So, in this video, I want to remind you of the importance of mastering the basics. If you know my videos, you see a lot of times I emphasize that. I emphasize that the basics are the most important aspect of any programming language, or any of the languages, really. So, when you are first learning to code, of course, you're concentrating on the basics, and the inclination is to think that as you become a more advanced coder, you'll have more advanced techniques. This is true, but actually what separates the good coders from the not-so-good coders is that the good coders have, a, have an advanced understanding of the basics, knowing not just how to use objects and functions and arrays properly, but knowing how to use them in sophisticated ways to understand when it makes sense to use a particular type of array, when it makes sense to design your object hierarchy in a particular way, and so on and so forth. If this is kind of confusing to you because you're a beginner, all you need to take away from this is that to really become a great coder, you have to really get a good understanding, a deep understanding of the basics. So it's not about learning every single framework out there. It's about having a deep understanding of the basics. Because when you have that, when you really, really internalize and understand the basic concepts and the basic techniques and the basic good practices of coding, all these frameworks, whether it be PHP frameworks or, or JavaScript frameworks, whatever, all these frameworks become pretty easy to understand because all a framework is is just a bunch of basic uh, code layered on top of each other so that you don't have to write all these layers yourself again. So there you go. As you're developing your coding skills, I suggest that you spend time, you put a little bit of time to always go back and really dig deeper into things that you think you know already. So for example, in the PHP world, if you think you really understand how uh, functions work, that's cool. Then start looking at more advanced use of functions, you know, in terms of default arguments, uh, different return types. Um, maybe when you're looking at um, uh, arrays, look at the different types of arrays. Why would you want to use one type of array versus another? Look at performance issues in arrays. You find that different languages, for instance, certain array types might be more performant given a certain circumstance. So there you go. So that's the uh, point of this video. Concentrate on your basics when you're beginning, and then as you continue to progress and slowly learn new things, which, you know, you know I'm not saying you don't learn new, new frameworks and new techniques, but always spend a little bit of time to come back and re-study go deeper into some of the basic subjects and you'll see that really separates the difference between you and uh, the average coder. And the reason I talk about this because I was speaking to a friend of mine who now is a co-founder of a startup and he was one of my mentees, somebody who trained under me for several years and he was talking about that now that he's hiring many coders and what he finds again is is the coders who have a better grasp of the basics are much better coders than those who may have superficial understanding of a whole bunch of different libraries and so on. And that's what it comes down to. Master your basics. As you continue to learn, revisit the basics, go back to them, dig a little dip, bit deeper into subjects that may seem boring because I already know what an array is, I already know what functions are, I already know basic objects. Go back into those, those basics and it will do you good in the, in the long run, in, in the short run too. That's it for now.